Hello, my friends. You make me feel I'm going so to take young. you back to 1966. You That's the year. So Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, the Upper Darby High School, and its famous May Day celebration. There's our flag flying way above the grandstands. As I said, it was May Day. This was an affair that they had every year. And there are the kids walking. There's the Maypole. See that over there on the right? Now this was all taken with my 8mm camera. You ask, how did I get out of this? Well, I had corrective gym. All the other kids had to do it. And I was the lucky one that got to photograph this. And it's a very special piece of film now because almost uh, 50 years have gone by. Not quite that, 1966 till now. And this is the wonderful May Day Court with all the beauties of Upper Darby High School. There's some of the best looking girls there. Oh, and here are the kids out on the field. 10th, 11th, 12th graders, all doing their thing, all carefully choreographed. Isn't that great? Look at this. A little fuzzy, a little grainy with time, and there's a nice hair on the left side there in the camera, which I never could get out. <laughs> so as Frank sings to you, we'll enjoy the rest of this film. There are some prize surprises coming up here. Yeah, a lot of surprises. You're going to see some people, friends of mine, old teachers. There's Mr. Clyde Dengler. Ah, there's an old friend, Jimmy. Now, I uh, photographed some of the most famous people in our school, and uh, they're coming up pretty soon. Let's see. Oh, uh, if you look on the right there, oh, there's Bruce Van Dyke, and right there was Todd Rundgren, our famous friend who now sings and records and does all kinds of great things. <laughs> there he is, there's Todd putting on a gold bow in his hair. Doesn't he look cute? <laughs> and there's my friend Dennis Sherlocker. He was my best man at my wedding, and he and Todd are sparring with each other. Isn't that fun? More guys showing off their wonderful bodies in their white gym shorts. Oh, come on, guys. Let's see some girls. I want to see the pretty girls. Ah, there's your host, Sam Similian, in person. Me and my 205-pound body. <laughs> there's a luscious-looking girl. Hi there, Pat. Oh, Michelle. Michelle Ionacone. Wonderful girl. Let's see who else. There's Valerie Kay just passed by. That's Michelle's sister. See, Iona Cohn? That's her. And, oh, Mimi Poulter. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, it wouldn't be a party without Philadelphia soft pretzels and soda. Is there any beer there? I doubt it. <laughs> ah, Mr. Hilbert, great math teacher. Boy, oh boy, did we enjoy his classes. <laughs> he even did a spin for us. <laughs> Some guys have to make faces, you know. There's Mike Bianchi. Saw him at a reunion about uh, five years ago. I tried to get this one girl. All she would show me is her rear. What can I do? Ah, there's me again. My friend Mike was playing with the camera. And I guess as the this comes into focus or out of focus, ah, there it goes. Bye, folks. I hope you enjoyed our little memory lane visit here. Ah, this is the next year. So that means that I just showed you 1965 and not 66. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it's still May Day. And May Day in Upper Darby High was very special. Ah, uh, look at the beauties there. Hmm. All the girls I couldn't date. <laughs> well, at least I've got Frank Sinatra. In Monterey. A long time ago, it happened in Monterey. Obviously, this whole thing was done off the cuff. No script, just talking as I go along. Not very well, either. <laughs> ah, there they go again. Now, see, by this time, 1966, I was a little more versed with the camera. Notice how slow I'm panning now, you see? You get the full impact. One year's experience makes such a difference when you're in high school. <laughs> well, I hope you've had enough, because that's about all we're going to do, about maybe five minutes of this. A nice walk down memory lane. 
Nice to see my old friends. So we'll close, as Frank says, bye. Say bye, Frank.